Hey guys, Guy Britton here with Ilio. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can get polished pop vocal sounds using the Gem Voice from Overloud. Let's jump in and take a look at what's going on. Okay, so we're working in Pro Tools today and you can see that we've got these three lead vocal tracks here in green. We've got the verse lead vocal, we've got the pre-chorus lead vocal, and we've got the chorus lead vocal. And all of these three lead vocal tracks being fed to this one lead vocal bus and this is where all the processing is happening. So on this bus, we just have an instance of the trim plugin to bring the gain up a little bit. And then we've got an instance of the gem voice and this is where all the processing is happening. We've got some effect sends on this track as well. Uh, but other than that, we're doing everything in the gem voice. So I'll play you a bit of the track and then we'll take a look at exactly what processing we're doing to create this sound. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free And yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of the time Finding the darkest heights And I guess you're my light when everything's hate so for this first part, I've just muted all of the backing vocals that are down here. So all that we're going to be hearing is the lead vocal and the track. And then I've disabled the effect sends up here so we can really focus on what the gem voice is doing. I've got a stereo instance of the gem voice inserted on this track. And it's important that it isn't a stereo instance because if you're using a mono instance of this plugin, you're not going to get the full effect of this spatial section, which is great for kind of widening the vocal. So it really needs to be in a stereo instance. Okay, so we're going to start up here in this mic preamp section, which we're going to use to add some color to the vocal, much like a mic preamp would be in real life. Uh, so you'll see that each of these modules has these drop downs and this one has drop down with four different types of mic preamp the s4000 the n80 t88 and the sun 69 which all modeled off different types of consoles and the preamps within them so i'm going to play it back we'll have a flick through each of these and see which one we like the best i've been going crazy in my little lonely world acting like a little girl i need you to call me out and I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free And yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of the time Finding the darkest heart and I Cool, I like that. I feel like that T88 one is doing a nice job of sort of adding some upper harmonics, maybe dipping out a little bit of the harshness that's in her voice in the mid-range. I felt like the S4000 is really accentuating that mid-range and bringing it forward. Same with the N80 is kind of doing something a bit hairy in that mid-range. I really like the sound of the T88. I feel like it opens it up nicely, makes it feel a bit airier and helps it cut through the mix a little bit more. So next up we have the tape simulator, which I'm going to turn on here. And then you'll see we have these different types of tape simulations. So we've got uh, 15 inches per second, seven and a half, 30. Um, and then we have it in stereo as well. And then these adding flutter, really old tape, vocal distortion and fuzz, which are more kind of effects. These ones are more subtle sort of uh, saturation, coloration, and these are more kind of obvious distortions. So let me play it back and we'll take a listen to what they're doing. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world acting like a little girl i need you to call me out and i know that lately i've been acting so damn proud shutting everybody out wait for me to come around hey it's me you're free and yeah i'm fine i just feel real bad all of the time finding the darkest heights and i guess you're my light when it i've been going crazy in my little lonely world acting like a little girl i need you to call me out 
So these ones down here are a little bit crazy, completely not appropriate for this kind of style would be way more useful in a sort of indie rock thing, maybe like a kind of garage punk sort of style. But in the case of like polished pop, that's not what we want. I really like this 30 inches per second here though. And so on a tape machine, like the slower the tape revolves, like seven and a half inches per second, the more top end you're gonna lose. 30 inches per second helps really preserve that top end. And the seven and a half hips and the 15 hips were a bit too dark for me, but I really like what the 30 hips is doing. It keeps that top end nice and pristine, but it also adds like a low mid thickness. Uh, which you'd expect from a tape simulation. So I really like how that sounds. Already we've kind of, I feel like we've polished up the vocal a bit. So let's move on to this enhancer and see what we can do here. We'll start with the female vocal because obviously we're working with a female vocal. We've also got backing vocals, sparkling transients and compressed. And uh, we'll go through each one of these and see what they add. I've been going crazy In my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know they're late I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free And yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of the time Finding the dark and I guess you're my light when it I've been going crazy In my little lonely world So I actually really like this male vocal one here on her voice. I feel like the female one sounded a little bit shrill with her. Um, the male vocal one sounds a bit smoother. I quite like the sparkling transients one too that adds a nice shine. But this male vocal one is the one for me. So we're going to stick with that. Let's have a listen to what we've done so far on and off uh, and see, see what difference we made. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world Acting like a little girl, I need you to call me out And I know that lately, I've been acting so damn proud Of course it's quite subtle but we're adding like a breathiness and an openness to that vocal through these different kind of harmonic saturation stages in the preamp, the tape simulator and the enhancer. I feel like it's just helped to open the vocal up, which is a really nice start. And this is something that we can build upon definitely. So let's move on to the next stage. We have the uh, multi-band section here, which has got this de you'll see here, and this de-boxer. We have some presets, but I'm actually just gonna dial this in myself. And we kind of know that there's like a little bit of harshness in that top end that could be dialed back, and maybe some boxiness in those low mids. And we can use this to kind of control that. So let's take a listen to what's going on. It's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free And yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of the time Finding the darkest heights And I guess you're my light when everything's hey Found Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country, but I'd like to see you whenever you're free. And yeah, I'm fine. I just feel real bad all of the time, finding the darkest highs. And I guess you're my light when everything's held down. Hey, it's me. I know I'm found. Hey. It's me. So you can hear that DS is doing a really good job just to smooth out the sibilance on the it's me. It, that really peaks there and it kind of makes me go, oh. And that DS is doing a really nice job of smoothing that out without making it sound kind of too lispy um, or too unnatural. Let's move on to the next section, which is the compressor section. We've got an FET mild, FET limit, and FET harmonics, which are all different types of 1176 style compression. We have an LA2A style opto tube compression and then Opto Solid State, which is most likely an LA3A sort of thing. I'm a really big fan of 1176 style compression on a pop vocal. I love the fast attack. I love how it always manages to bring a vocal forward and give you that really intimate pop vocal sound. So we're gonna start with the FET Mild, dial in some settings and see what sounds good. Out. Hey, it's me. I know I'm calling from another country, but I'd like to see you whenever you're free and yeah. I'm fine I just feel real bad all of 
half the time finding the darkest heights And I get you all my light when everything's ha Having going crazy in my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free and Yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of the time Finding the darkest highs And I get I've been going crazy in my little lonely world Acting like a little girl, I need you to call me out And I know that lately, I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out, wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country, but I'd like... So I like this FET mild a lot. The limit was cool too, but it felt like it was perhaps a little bit too strong. Uh, the opto solid state was cool, but yeah, I'm going to go with the FET mild. Would have been nice to maybe have a mix knob on here so that we could blend it in and do a bit of parallel compression, but nonetheless, we managed to get a really good vocal sound with some really simple controls. And uh, yeah, I really like the simplicity of the interface. I'm not going to use the expander or the gate. Just going to stick with the compressor for now. I feel like we've done a good job of pinning that vocal in place. So let's move on to the next part. Over here we have the EQ. We've got the 4K shelving and the 4K peaking, which is like an SSL 4000 style EQ. We have the German EQ, uh, which I believe is based off like their vinyl cutting EQ module that Overloud do. And British shelving, British peaking, which is presumably like a Neve style EQ and then proportional EQ and band limit. Uh, so let's flick through these, see what they're doing. I'd like to add a bit of top end and maybe dial out a bit of harshness in the lows. We're also going to add this cut in. You'll see that when we do any of these EQ moves, it appears on this graphic down here, which is nice just to be able to visualize it if we want to. So let's play that back and dial in some settings and see what we can do. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free and Yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of the time Finding the dark and I get you, my you may have noticed just as I was flicking through those presets that as we change preset, it's reflected on this graphic down here, which is a really nice visual aid to be able to see what difference each of these is making. So we go to the 4K shelving. This is quite a precise EQ. And this allows us to really get into that mid-range. If we switch to the German EQ, you'll see it's a bit broader and uh, a little less focused. And then we go to the British shelving. That mid-range kind of moves downwards and isn't quite as exaggerated as it is on that 4K shelf. And same with the British peaking, it's quite a broad mid-range scoop there, which is reflected in the sound, and we have this sort of roll off in the top. Whereas when we go to the 4K shelf, it's a much more noticeable bump in the top. And I like that, it adds a presence to it, and it also helps me, like I said, to really get precise on that mid-range that I'm trying to dial out. And yeah, this is a really nice feature. So my preference is the 4K shelf, I think that sounds good. Like I said, I wanted to get rid of a bit of that harshness in the mid-range, and that's done a really good job of that. So let me just play that back. I'll turn off the modules that we've added so far, and we can see what difference we've made. I've been going crazy In my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free and Yeah, I'm fine I just feel real bad all of 
lots of time finding the darkest heights and i get you on my light when everything's nice i think that sounds really good i mean i really love the simplicity of all of these modules like they're all very simple but they all add so much within their own right and it's nice to be able to do this all within the one plugin. One cool feature with the EQ is that you can click this button up here and switch it so that it goes before the multiband compressor and the compressor. This is useful if you want to use the EQ to do more kind of corrective surgical EQ before it hits the compressor. But in this case, I'm going to keep it afterwards because I'm just using it. It's kind of a bit of nip and tuck, polish up that vocal a little bit more and dial out some of that mid range, like I said. So I'm going to leave it after the compressor in this case. So moving on to this bottom section down here, we have this space section and this is cool because it has a load of different types of spatial effects. We have everything from this almost dry effect, which if I play it to you here is kind of as it says on the tin, just like an almost dry reverb. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world, acting like a little girl. I need you to call me out. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world, acting like a little girl. I need you to call me out. And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for I've been going crazy In my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud, shutting everybody out. They're all really good sounding reverbs. I feel like what I would do if I was going to want to use one of these reverbs is to set up a send and have the the gem voice kind of as a, as its own insert on that send and use those reverb modules there rather than kind of inserting it on the track. Uh, that's just my personal preference of the way that I work. But what I would like to try is I like this oral thing here, which I believe is like an oral exciter. And this is going to help just add a bit of width, maybe add a bit of presence to that vocal. Let's see what that's doing. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world, acting like a little girl. I need you to call me out. And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud, shutting everybody out. Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you So that's really subtle. You just want to feel it. You just want to feel like a bit of extra brightness, a bit of extra width. And that does a really cool job of allowing me to do that. It just gives the vocal the illusion that it's wider and just makes it feel like a little bit more present, a little bit more shiny, adds a polish to it. Uh, so I really like that. This depth control kind of adds like a pre-delay, but we're gonna keep that right down so that it's not, there's no difference between that and the vocal, no time difference. And then this width control, kind of pushing it just a little bit. I don't want it to be too wider, then it starts to sound false. I'm just rolling a little bit of that top end with the tone. And then, yeah, you can see like hardly anything in terms of the amount, but I feel like it adds a lot. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world acting like a little girl i need you to call me out and i know that lately cool that sounds good and next up we have the delay which is pretty straightforward simple delay out of sync vintage slap back stereo doubler mono fantasy left to right delay swell so let's see what they sound like i've been going crazy in my little lonely world acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free and darkest heights and i get you on my lap i've been going crazy in my little lonely world acting like a little girl 
I need you to call me out. That's nice. That adds a real extra width to it now, like another dimension to the width. I feel like you really feel that more than you hear it. Let me just play that back without any of the track. I've been going crazy in my little lonely world, acting like a little girl. I need you to call me out. And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud. Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around It just gives the vocal a space around it It makes it feel a bit more alive And adds some depth to it And I think that just sounds really nice So yeah, that's cool If I was going to go with more of like a rhythmic delay or something I'd probably put it on a send like I was saying with the reverb um, But using it as more of a widening effect And using these two as more of kind of widening spatial effects Just to add a bit more depth is super effective. So lastly over here we have the limiter. I'm not going to use the limiter in this case because we could use it just to kind of iron out some of the peaks but I don't want to squash the vocal. I think it already sounds good. So we're not going to touch the limiter. We'll turn that off. Let's take a listen to what it sounds like with all of those modules on and then all of those modules off and we can see what difference we make. I've been going crazy In my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out and I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm caught And let's hear it with the backing vocals in And the effect sends back on I've been going crazy In my little lonely world Acting like a little girl I need you to call me out And I know that lately I've been acting so damn proud Shutting everybody out Wait for me to come around Hey, it's me I know I'm calling from another country But I'd like to see you Whenever you're free and the time finding the darkest times and i get you on my light when everything's hey Cool, I think it sounds really good. I love this plugin. I feel like every single module within the Gem Voice is super simple, but super effective and really bringing something to the table in terms of the vocal processing. There's basically nothing that we're not using here besides the limiter. Everything else is on and ultimately it sounds really good. And that's the most important thing. Super easy to use, no wasted screen space. And yeah, you can see like just <laughs> all in one plugin, we've managed to create a really nice polished pop vocal sound. So I can see a load of different ways in which the gem voice is going to be used on mixes I do in the future. Definitely going straight in my template. And I'd also be interested to try it on other instruments that are not vocals because I feel like some of these settings could be just as useful on other instruments as well. So definitely recommend you go and check it out and try it for yourself. See what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.